Hello and welcome to the world of EDC. My name is Jeff. I just wanted to quickly go over my entire knife collection. So quick is probably not the word to use, but I'm just going to quickly go through them. Um, I do remember most of the names of them. Some of them are very technical, so I'll have to either look them up or I'll put them in the description down below if I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, starting off first, this is the SOG uh, Sideswipe, I believe is what it's called. Um, and I just have to get into it. Most people say SOGs have a lot of blade play. This one has very minimal side to side, up and down, but I really recommend this knife. Um, I think at the time I bought it for $30, I'm not sure. I, I don't want to misquote, so I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I, it, I feel like I got a good price, deep carry pocket clip, just a really all around good knife. Um, so highly recommended by me. Um, if you're just looking for a beater that's cheap and uh, covers all the bases, good jumping, deep carry pocket clip, blah, blah, blah. Um, I will be going through these fairly quickly because if I go slow, we'll be here all day. So uh, this is the Ganzo, what is this one's number? G7533. Very nice blade shape. Uh, all around, really a good knife. Uh, Axis lock, I don't know what they call their version of it, but that's the Benchmade uh Axis lock, uh, really a all around good knife. I think I paid about twenty dollars for this knife. Um, I really like it a lot, so it's uh, it's definitely not going anywhere. I won't be getting rid of this knife. Um, <clears throat> next one on the, and I'm just pulling these out of my storage box one by one, so they're in no particular order. This is the Spider Co. Uh, Manix Two lightweight in blue. Obviously, I have been EDCing this knife. A whole lot lately I got it over um, Christmas I actually I actually went to the spider Coast store and got this knife and uh, I really really um, like this knife and enjoy carrying it um, I really do the only gripe I have is I wish this wire clip was a deep carry um, wire clip but other than that I really do enjoy carrying this knife very very lightweight for the size and capabilities uh, of that blade um, Next one on the list is, or out of the box, I should say, is just my Spyderco Plain Satin Tenacious um, Black G10 Handles. Um, I've shown this one on the channel, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Highly recommended by me. This one is uh, one of the knives that I got from my father when I was really, really young. It was actually, uh, you know, in his collection when he died, and um, it ended. Up, I ended up inheriting it. It's a, a Flying Falcon. Um, I've never been able to find this on Amazon. I'm sure I could probably find it if I went to like Blade HQ or maybe on, I think I found it on eBay one time. But really a good knife. One of the very few knives that I have that has really good serrations with jimping. And I have really, like I got this when I was really young. So I, I put it through its paces and I really just really like that knife. Um, next one. <clears throat> I've already shown this one on the channel, so I'm not going to spend too much time. This is the Ontario Rat number two. Uh, one of my all time favorite EDC knives of all time. Next one is my other uh, Tenacious. This is the black on black with uh, serrations. This one I got for um, Christmas this year from my fiance is the Kershaw Link. Uh, I believe this is eight CR 13 MOV, but the speed assist or speed safe, whatever they call it on this knife is really, really snappy. I won't be able to do it perfectly on camera because I don't want to knock the camera around, but you can hear it. It's just really snappy. And to me, I enjoy that. Um, Blackstone wash finish. I haven't really used this knife as far as like cutting with it, but I can just sit and fiddle with it all day long. I just love that sound when it pops out. Next knife is one of the knives that I got early on in my knife collecting, um, and that is the SOG Flash 2. Uh, I had to look at the name. I wanted to say Twitch for whatever reason, but it's the Flash 2. Um, blade play on this one, because everybody complains about it, up and down is very minimal, pretty intense side to side, but it has not been adjusted, and I've had this knife for, I want to say, five years, and so I think if I adjusted it, it would be fine. Uh, it does have a deep carry pocket clip. I'm closing this without cutting myself. Deep carry pocket clip there. I really enjoy carrying this knife. It's very light. The blade play on SOGs is kind of what it is. You either 
live with it or you don't. And so I like it. I only have a few and I just really like this knife. Next one. I will not know the exact name of this one. It's a bird from Spider Co's uh it's a Hawkbill. I forget what the exact one, number or name of this is, but this is Spider Co's uh, affordable line, and um, I got this one in person. Uh, I got about 10 or so of them for Christmas a couple years back and gave them out, and this one was a leftover, so I kept it, and that's why it's in my collection. Not necessarily a knife that I would EDC or anything like that. Um, this one, this next one's going to be a two for the reason why I wouldn't need to see that knife is this is just not pr practical with that hawkbill style. The bug out in black or blue and satin, and the black blade with uh, the green handle. I love this knife so much that I had to go get both versions of it. Um, you guys have seen all those, both of those before. Really lightweight, really really easy to carry. These have been getting a lot of pocket time. I've actually been carrying this one with my Manix two. Um, when uh, because they're both blue obviously so I try to keep my knives quote-unquote themed so those are those two love 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 those knives next one is um, the M&P I forget exactly what this um, what the name of this one is it's a M&P is was my first OTF I gotta unlock it to deploy it's a single action OTF, so after you sh deploy it, you gotta hit that safety right there to release the blade. And then if I can do this on screen, you have to charge it back up so that it'll fire again. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on safe. Um, I was initially disappointed with that knife when I got it from Blade HQ. I thought it was a, um, a double action OTF and it ended up being a single action but it has grown on me so I do recommend if you have a you know 40 bucks to throw around that's a good knife to get next one is the Boker uh, Kaleshnikov oh hell I, I butchered that but you know what I'm getting at you can see the name there Kaleshnikov uh, auto 40 bucks blade HQ black on blue I really love this color combination you'll you'll see it a couple of times throughout my collection um, I really like the jimping on this knife, deep carry pocket clip. I do carry this every once in a while. It hasn't gotten a lot of hard use of, from me because I normally carry this as like my fidget knife and then I carry another one that's a worker or a beater knife and that's typically how I do my EDC. I carry two knives, one's like my fidget or my, you know, just brings me happiness, joy type knife and then another, the other one is a, a work work knife. Next one is going to be uh, one that I've shown on Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, definitely stop by. It's uh, just world underscore of underscore EDC. I will put that in the description down below, but it um, has a deep carry pocket clip on it. This is the uh, Griptilian full size. Uh, it's been reviewed to the 10th degree, so I won't go into it too much, but I really love this knife. <coughs> Pardon me. That brings me to its little brother, so to speak, I guess would be the way to put it, is the mini grip. Same thing, Benchmade sent me the free pocket clip. Um, I think they charge five bucks for it now, so I've heard, but um, definitely worth it because it's a great deep carry pocket clip and I love this knife. <clears throat> Next one is gonna be um, another OTF. It's the AKC um, uh, F16. This one is uh, a double action. So you can see there I have in, inside there I have I've used this I play I fidget with this all the time. Uh, I've never carried it. It's just for around the house. Um, it's got skateboard tape. It's just it's forty bucks and it, it I mean it, it, it even sounds like forty bucks and it's just really a lot of fun to play with. So that is um, my second of two uh, OTFs that I have in my collection. Next one is the Cold Steel, uh, what in the world do they call this one? It's the, oh man, there it is, Tough Light. I, I drew a complete blank. Really like this knife. It is a little bit too slicey for a lot of the work that I do as far as like that edge. I'm, 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 I'm trying to do it justice on camera, but if you've never held one of these, it 
it's like a razor blade at the edge and for me I do a lot more hard work with my EDC knives and so I bought this knife thinking man I'm gonna use that a lot because of the the, the blade shape but I just can't carry it because of that it, it's just it's like carrying around a razor which I do so I already have a razor covered so I just never really carry this knife but I do love the blade shape the ergos are great on it it feels really good in hand um, and so I will recommend this knife but just keep that in mind if you're gonna go out and get one of these that it's just not as thick and in in my opinion useful for hard use this is kind of like get cardboard or get paper done nothing harder than that and I am unfortunately harder than that on my knives so I just I just don't need to see this one but I love it I love 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 that blade shape and the ergos on it next one is another gift um, my fiance got me for my birthday last year this is the dragonfly 2 this one I get uh, give a lot of carry time to oh sorry about that we completely fumbled everything because I wasn't paying attention we knew it was bound to happen <laughs> sorry about that I'm getting better as time goes by about not knocking the camera but as you can see I just did that but here's this dragonfly 2 and then I also when I carry that I also carry the Delica 4 because of obviously the matching uh, green FRN scales but this is just a great combo for EDC both you can put to use um, both are really good beater knives. They're not too expensive, so you don't feel bad for using them. But they're expensive enough to where you get really a quality knife to carry it with you every day. I'm getting really long-winded in some of these, so I'm going to start grabbing a few at a time. This is another knife that I got from my dad. Um, it's called Imperial Ireland. Stainless steel knife is the best I can tell you what it's called. It's, I mean, you can see it's gunky. It spends a lot of time in like tackle boxes and bags that are going camping or whatever else because I just really like this blade shape. It's got serrations on there. It does need to be sharpened. It's really, really blunt right now because I did put it to some hard use. Um, so once I get this shape uh, sharpened back up, it'll be put right back into either a tackle box or um, a bag that I'll carry when I go, you know, outdoors type activities and stuff like that. But I really love this knife. And it has sentimental value too. This one is a, a knife that I bought just kind of because I wanted to see what $13 on Amazon would get me. And uh, I have to say that I'm not too impressed with this knife. Um, single position, tip down, uh, deep carry at least, pocket clip, uh, tanto blade. Um, I believe this is Aus 8 steel, but I'm not sure. It's a tack force. It does have a belt cutter and uh, glass breaker on the end, but I always see that kind of as a gimmick. I bought it just to see what $13 would get me in. I have to say I would probably divert that $13 to a couple of other knives that I have that I will point out. One of them being the Rat 2 that I've already shown you. For another $7, you can get a knife of that quality. <clears throat> Next one is... This one is the... Jesus... I'm sorry guys, I need to figure out a better way to hold this camera, and I will, I promise. Camera down, I'm sorry. Uh, this one is the Spyderco, oh I'm drawing a blank, I think it's the Efficient. Um, the camera getting knocked around is really getting to me here, I'm sorry about that you guys, I will I will work on it, I promise. Anyways, um, I really do like this knife, I will annotate or put in the description down below what the exact name of it is, I'm drawing a blank on it. But the ergos on it are really, really good. You can get one of these for about 40 bucks, and I really do like this knife. Next knife is one that's fairly new to me, is the PM2 in uh, black on black with, uh, it's got a S30V steel, um, and I really do like this knife. I fidget with it all the time. It's kind of one of those knives that I don't EDC because I feel like it's just a little bit too much money uh, to go ahead around beating, and if I was to carry it all the time, I would definitely get to beating on it. So it just kind of gets fidget, fidgeted with and uh, sits around. So not one that I ADC, but I definitely would if I could bring myself to beating on that much money, so to speak. Another dragonfly. This one's serrated. Got that one as a gift. This one 
is the spider or not the spider co uh this is the crkt lck the black reverse tanto this one gets a lot of work around the house because it's really really small thin very very narrow in the pocket and it's acr 13 ammo v so i can sharpen this up really really easily with pretty much all of my sharpening systems that i have i'm not a pro uh sharpener so the softer the steel uh that holds up for me hcr 13 mov is great because i can sharpen it and it also has decent enough uh edge retention to where it gets my task done and then it just needs a little bit of attention and that's to me is all i need out of a knife so deep carry pocket clip pocket clip really nice flipper really enjoy this knife and for the price you really can't beat it around 30 bucks Next one is the Rat Model 1. I've shown this one on the channel before. This one has gotten a lot of pocket time because I carry it with the Rat 2. Love that knife. And so the, those are just both beaters. I carry this one in my back pocket with the Rat 2 in my front pocket. They both get a lot of use. When I have larger, you know, more intense, this one's getting used. Used uh, The Rat 2 will get used if it's a smaller task. This is another knife that I got from our Christmas party some years back. This is the Man Bug, I believe, Spyderco Man Bug. Uh, really a nice little knife. It's very, very small in hand. I don't know if you can see that. It covers about two fingers. Ergos are decent for a small knife. This is basically a letter opener, that kind of thing. I wouldn't say that this is an EDC or anything like that. Obviously, you can't put it on a keychain. It does have a lanyard hole or a keychain hole. Um, and so, really a decent knife. A little bit too expensive for how small that knife is in my opinion but hey <clears throat> last we're starting to get to the last few here this is the kershaw skyline in damascus um i recently got this knife not a huge fan of the flipper action i and i won't try to do it in, on camera but i will off camera this is what i got a, a pretty decent attempt at a flip so the action's not great on it, but the ergos are awesome, and it, I just had to have an, a Damascus knife, and this one was affordable. And I, I don't really have this was before I didn't before I had this one. I didn't have one in my collection, so I went ahead and got that one. Next knife is going to be the CRKT Pilar. Just got this knife. I want to say two or three months ago. It has found its way into my pocket a couple of times. Much better edge as far as um this versus the tough knight um and so this one i feel like can definitely get some more use kind of the same idea as far as design and ergos really a good knife i highly recommend it i do have plans to customize this knife um next one is a one that i won't know the name of um but it's just a little keychain knife that as you can see spent a lot of time on my keychain got a really good patina on it i really do enjoy this little knife it's just a little keychain sog keychain knife you can find them on amazon i think they're like 10 to 15 bucks uh really just a nice keychain knife that's you know what it's designed for and it's really good at it excels at that task um this one is the kershaw grinder um i really like this knife when I saw it online but after about an hour's worth of playing you can hear that side to side blade play and even some up and down and you can see I try to show you on camera here but you can see that blade play and that's just from about hours of uh, you know fidgeting with it when I first got it so it's never really found its way into my pocket or anything like that and it's kind of just one of those knives where I was like yeah I kind of got what I paid for it I think I paid like $16 for that knife all right, down to the last few. These are both just little uh, keychain knives. This one is on uh, my keys to um, my fiance's car that I don't really drive much. And then I also have a little flashlight and just, you know, I always have a knife on me. Um, and then I also have on my keys, that is obviously a Swiss, um, the mini, I forget what the exact name of that is. And then I have the copper uh, cinder on this keychain. Um, and then I do have the Gerber dime multi-tool on my keys at all time. And then the last two I have, this one is, uh, I've shown this on 
camera of my first video the Lever Leatherman Way Rev uh, really decent knife in this um, multi-tool which is a big requirement for me uh, in a multi-tool and very accessible considering that it's on the outside and then all the tools that you could ever need so I do carry this a fair amount of time and then a knife that I just got today is my very first uh, ZT is the ZT just came in the mail which is the reason why this video didn't come out sooner is because I was waiting for this to get here um, the ZT 0450 carbon fiber I got this for a really good deal off of Amazon they played with the, pli the price of it for about a week and I f they finally brought it down to 150 bucks which normally I think it goes for like 185 $35 savings plus um, two-day shipping I could not beat it so I definitely went ahead and got this knife and so that is the extent of my full knife collection I will do another video of my watches and my flashlights and whatever else but I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys all the knives in my collection so that if anybody ever asks you know what knives that you that I currently have this is what I have as of late February 2019 the collection kind of grows and changes there's some knives that I'll trade maybe I'll give them away to a friend and replace them with something else that I enjoy more but that is what it is at this moment in time um, I really do appreciate you watching I hope you enjoyed uh, I'm sorry about the couple of fumbles with the camera I will get better um, I do have plans on getting a, a camera with an actually a much better um, uh, tripod that's not going to be able to be knocked around so much so if you made it to this point in the video I really do appreciate it I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video